<laughs> My good girl, huh? <laughs> such a good girl, huh? <laughs> Dog hair. Pfft. Everywhere. Okay, yes, I'm in my pajama bottoms because all my clothes are covered in pff, pff, dog hair. <laughs> and yes, I brushed her. I even ordered a brush from Amazon it arrived yesterday and I took her outside and I brushed her for like 40 minutes. There is like clumps of hair this big out there. Uh, but I finally got her brushed. Uh, her big clumps are gone. I'm going to do it again later on today when I take her outside for a walk. And uh, she uh, doesn't leave my side. She doesn't leave my side here. The only time she disappears is at night and she likes to sleep at the foot of my bed and then she goes into the the, the bathroom uh, ensuite and she'll sleep in there for a little while and then she'll get up she'll come out of there and she'll go into my walk-in closet and then she'll sleep in there for a little while and then she'll go to my laundry room and she'll sleep in there for a little while and uh, yeah it's like she keeps getting up and she, well, I decided to move over here today not going anywhere in particular just heading to a different location to lie down and start sleeping. So, uh, yeah, uh, it is fun having a dog in the house again, but you know what? I have to admit, I, I smell like dog. Uh, my hands smell like dog and my clothes smell like dog and I can feel my house starting to smell like dog. And so that's the bad part of owning a dog and it's it's like anything right if it's in your house and you're used to it you don't smell it it's other people who will smell it right who like if you're a smoker in your house you don't smell it but somebody else comes into your house who's a non-smoker they'll smell it right it's just the way it is um it it can be that way with food it can be that way with anything but yeah, I, I really notice, and I've been a dog owner quite a long time. I'm a big dog lover, uh, and I do notice I can smell it now because I haven't had a dog in over a year. Um, and I'm not a fan of hair everywhere. <laughs> I do not like cooking and having a dog hair float by my eyes as I'm cooking my food. I do not like that. Uh, so I think uh, the decision has been made for me about if I'm ever going to get another dog. Um, at least a long-haired dog right now. I love dogs. I love animals to death. And they are great. She wakes in the morning. She, she doesn't wake me. She waits till I get up. But the minute I get up, she's there. Hi, how are you? I love you. Come on, let's go play. Let's go downstairs. And so that's lovely to wake up to. That's a great way to start your day every day, right? To have somebody there, especially when you're single and you live, live alone. Uh, so I do like that. I do like having somebody here, but it's still responsibility. It's still some things that, you know, I, I just booked a bunch of cruises uh, for my, you know, it's been a while. It's kind of my job. And so I am be, I'll be traveling and if I owned an animal, I would have to have somebody look after that animal for me. It'd be different if I lived with somebody and they would be staying here, like my son was still here or my daughter, uh, but they've all gone. They've all grown up and moved out. What you mean at her? <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, as much as I would love an animal, it's, I don't think it's in the cards for me. I'll be content to visit with my nephew's dog Shoda when I visit him 
or my son's cats and my nephew's cats or my daughter's dog, I will be content with that for now. I think this week has kind of given me that, yeah, Don, yeah, at your time of life now with what you have to do. Now, if I come to a point where I don't have to travel as often or I'm not traveling as often, maybe then I would reconsider getting another pet. Um, you know, or if I ended up living with somebody who would be here all the time, that would be a different story. Uh, no plans on that right now. So don't get any ideas. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, uh, it's funny. The things that you miss and the things that you forget about, both the good and the bad of owning a pet. And I think the hardest thing for me to do is not necessarily, okay, I smell like dog now or the dog hair. Or any, all that I can live with. All that I can absolutely live with. The hard part I have living with is when you have to say goodbye. Especially if you, you've had them a while. Um, and they're members of your family, basically. When Nico passed away, um, it was rough. It was rough. I almost didn't want to give consent uh, to the vets. I almost wanted to try and prolong it and prolong it, but it was like she was 16, 17 years old. Uh, she was, it was her time. She wasn't doing well. She was not, you know, she was a happy dog, but she was not healthy. And uh, that was rough. That was really, really rough. And I don't think I ever want to go through that again. And it's different if it's a dog that you see once in a while than one that lives in your house and becomes part of your family. So that's the, I think if I, if I narrowed it down, it's not the traveling, it's not the hair, it's not the responsibility. It's that sadness that hits you when you have to say goodbye. That's the real reason right now that I won't get another pet. 